wrestling was my lifelong dream, right? Wrestling was my, the only thing I ever wanted to do, period. I have like that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't have the typical story. I have the typical story of I, I, wrestling was the only thing I ever wanted to do from as long as I could even have a memory. Take a look at this and then understand you're taking a look at professional wrestling. What makes me the dirty daddy? Probably a lot of the reasons why there's people that probably don't like me. I'm straightforward, I'm honest, I tell it like it is. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. I do what I want, how I want. I do things my way, you know, and there's repercussions to that. But, you know, doing things your way comes with a price sometimes. But I'm not willing to sacrifice my pride and my integrity. People think maybe I'm just a little bit too dangerous. Maybe my mouth is just gonna get me into trouble. But you wanna know what? In this world, especially right now, opportunities are not given. And I can tell you right now, opportunities are never given to me. I have to go out and take everything I've ever had. To be the first inaugural United Wrestling Network champion, it would mean a lot. This has been a lifesaver, honestly. This company, uh, this year has been rough, obviously, on everybody, including myself. I was on a path of nothing but upward trajectory in 2019 and going into this year. I was doing the best I ever had. And then, you know, like a light switch, it all went off. When I got the call from Marquez that they were starting this new show, I was so excited. I remember I hung up my phone, I laid in bed, and I literally was like, Durr! like I was, I was flexing, I was so pumped, because finally something's going on, finally somebody's doing something. So to be involved in something like this obviously was very special, but now to be in the position where I'm going to potentially become the inaugural United Wrestling Network world champion, obviously it's huge. How many guys do I gotta run through? This is the best you got? I'm begging. Week after week, give me somebody, show me somebody, you got nothing. Obviously I had a serious size advantage against Peter, but that didn't stop him from using every tactic in the book he could you know, pull out of his ass to try and mess me up. He smashed my leg with a chair. You know, He got on top of me when I couldn't get back up. I had to fight him basically with one leg. So he's a smart competitor. You know, he could get the job done, but can't get it done against me. All these weeks, I've run through every opponent that the United Wrestling Network has put in front of me, and I begged, I pleaded, please give me the best competition. Now you got Carl Fredericks, Mike Bennett, Davey Boy Smith Jr., Red Beard. It doesn't make a difference. Understand this, gentlemen, you're stepping into my house. I've worked my ass off to get into this position. I've done everything I have to do to be undeniable. I work silently when nobody else is watching. I never turn off. You know, this whole thing, this pandemic thing happened, a lot of guys, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people in general, you were gonna go one way or gonna go the other. I just kept, kept going. I just kept going. So do I feel like I have a right to be in this tournament? Yes, absolutely. Am I going to tell you right now, am I going to win this tournament? Yes, 100%. I am not going to take a back seat to anybody, okay? Not one single bit. It ain't gonna happen. So, that bothers you. I don't give a shit. 